Instructions and precautions for HXB series mini crawler crane. Preparation. Read the instruction manual carefully and make sure a correct understanding about it. Start the machine. One, check the oil circuit is okay before starting. If any leakage, troubleshoot the problem first and then you can start. Two, Make sure the oil level is over one half of the tank capacity before starting. If not, refuel the oil. Flame out from fuel shortage is very dangerous. Whole tank oil may support four hours work, but it differs from different working conditions. Three, check all handles can make a quick and reliable reset to mid position. Four, check the tracks are okay. If any loose, incompleteness, crack, etc., solve before starting. 5. Turn on the emergency switch before starting. The LCD beside the switch shows the battery voltage, and the red light is on. Then open the throttle and turn the key to start the engine, and switch off the throttle after. 6. After starting, do not make an immediate operation. Make sure the crane is running in stable without abnormal sound. Walking. One, after starting, the operator must walk around the crane to check if there are any people or obstacle around. The operator must be aware of the walking path. Serious damage may occur if there are people or animal in blind zone. Machine weighs two tons. Two, turn the solenoid valve switch to walking and the red light on valve will light up. Operate the walking handle to walk forward. Make a turn and turn around, etc. Three, following the label below. One, push or pull left and right handle at the same time to walk straight forward or backward. 2. Push or pull the left handle only to turn right or left in a big radius. 3. Push or pull the right handle only to turn left or right in a big radius. 4. Push or pull the left handle and pull or push the right handle to turn right or left in a small radius. 4. Pay great attention while moving uphill and downhill. Operator must stand at the higher level sign. Move backward for uphill, forward for downhill. For safety of the operator and others around, make sure nobody is in the lower area in case of the rollover on steep slope of uphill or downhill. Five, do not make a turn or turn round on a slope. Danger of rollover. Six, prohibited to fix the handle and make the crane walking by itself while walking. Danger of serious accident. Lifting. To lift after walking to working area. One, turn on the tilt angle sensor, weight limiter and height limiter before lifting. Two, extend outriggers. Make sure space is enough for outriggers before extending length about 3.7 meters and width about 3.5 meters. Label of outriggers operation. One, pull the handles to get outriggers baseboard released from the machine frame. Two, pull out the pins on the side of the machine, adjust the outriggers to a suitable angle, and then plug the pins well. Three, pull out the middle pins. Choose the right position, then plug the pins. Select max angle if no obstacle. See the figure. Four, pull out the front end telescopic outriggers and then plug the pin. Five, adjust outriggers with handles and stretch outriggers slowly until outriggers fully contact the earth and the body is firmly fixed must adjust the level according to the gradienter. The angle of each outrigger should be the same. In this step, 
tilt the machine for an angle less than 4 degrees to check if tilt angle sensor works well. When tilting over 3 degrees, the alarm lighting up with siren. If not function well, repair it before operating. 3. Preparation for lifting. Make sure all outriggers firmly supported. 1. According to actual working condition, if necessary, place an isolation area at a radius of 10 meters from the crane, in which only authorized people can stay. 2. Make sure no unauthorized people in the isolation area. Then switch the solenoid valve to lifting. The light on the solenoid valve will be off and lifting handles are activated. Operate the up and down handle to raise the boom to a proper height. 3. Operate the slewing handle to turn the hook to load direction. Do not up and down the hook and boom and in and out the boom at the same time. 4. Operate the winch handle to lower the hook to a certain length. Then control the boom handle to extend or retract the boom four times to get the hook over the load. While boom extending, the operator must notice the hook position to avoid over winching. 4. Lifting 1. After the hook being lowered to proper position, safety man fixes the load to the hook. The hook must be right above the load center line to make sure no side movement and no dragging. 2. Making sure connection between hook and load is reliable. Other people are not allowed to stay within working radius except the operator at safe position. No people standing under the boom. Operate the winch handle to raise the hook. Do not extend or retract the boom after load leaving the ground. 3. After lifting to a height, the load will not touch the outriggers. Operate the slewing handle to slew the load. Prohibited to slew the load over the head of operator. Slew smoothly with no sudden speed change. Sudden speed change will shake the boom and reduce the stability of the crank, even rollover. 4. Operate the winch handle to drop the load after being carried to target position. Drop until wire rope is loose. Then safety man can separate the load with the hook. 5. If it is need to stop while lifting, drop the load to the ground completely and no winch force to the hook. 6. Lift according to load capacity chart. Overload may cause rollover and damage. 7. Prohibited to move outriggers while lifting load. If necessary, drop the load down to the ground. Adjust the outriggers when the wire rope is loose. Outriggers retraction. Retraction process is in reverse of extending order. Make sure the boom is folded without load before retraction. Retract outriggers in reverse of extending. Electric motor power connection. 1. Wiring. Connect the three-phase four-wire to the aviation socket of the crane and connect the other end to 380 volt power output. 2. Three-phase power check. Make sure the air switch is off and connect the three-phase power. Turn the direction switch clockwise, CW, and air switch to rotate the motor. Operate for less than five seconds and turn off the motor and check if the blade's rotating direction clockwise. Refer to arrow on the motor. If yes, close the air switch to output the power. Remote control. After the crane is fully extended, switch to remote operation on operation platform and check the power indicating light of the signal receiver on the side crane is on. Carry the remote control on operator's body side and stand 5 to 10 meters from the crane. Release the emergency stop button and operate according to the label on the remote control. Operation process is the same as lifting. Basket Installation Unscrew and open the cover plate of the front boom 
Remove the cover plate and install the basket holder into the square hole. Plug pins on the side and lock pins. Then fix the basket to the holder. Plug in the axle pins and limiting screws with nut on. 2. Basket Application Aerial staff working in the basket must wear a helmet and safety belts. Open the front door and get into the basket. Fix safety belts to basket firmly. Instruct the operator to raise the basket. Pay great attention to the boom angle while in the air and adjust the fixing bolt on the basket frame according to the angle. Tighten the bolt after the basket reaching a certain position. Operator raise the boom to a certain angle before extending. 